It has already begun. This is a herald of change. This amazing date in time, it is a herald. This is a marker point. It's a herald of change. And what we're having today is a surge, an influx. Today is a solar eclipse. It's something called an annular eclipse, which is a ring of fire eclipse. And it's called that, the ring of fire eclipse, because when we look at today's eclipse, we're going to see the rim, the edge of the sun kind of poking out. So we get this beautiful visual, but the name, the name is important. The ring of fire, what does that do? It conjures for many human beings a sense of doom or a sense of dread, a sense like something's going to go down. And this is exactly the type of moment. It is a node point on the timeline, a threshold point, you could call it, where there are those malevolent beings who will always try to intervene and interject when humanity is primed with a name like Ring of Fire Eclipse. It's almost as if humanity would expect something to go down. It's almost as if humanity wouldn't be surprised if there was fire in the sky or something doom and gloom-ish that took place right now. So this is very much what today's eclipse is about. It's about inserting into the timeline a change event to warrant suffering, to warrant some kind of external lights. Because that's a distraction, isn't it? It's a total, if we see external lights, don't we go, oh, you know, look at all, always, you know, we're going kind of like magpies, look at that pretty light over there. Even when it's not a pretty light, it's still a distraction, whether it is, I don't know, a missile being blown or a UFO or something outside of ourselves, we're going to focus there. And then what happens? We're creator beings. Our creativity in terms of our creative power has never been as heightened as it is right now. So when we're looking at those external lights in the sky, be they missiles, be they UFOs, when we look out there, maybe it's a cataclysmic event, maybe there's some kind of eruption, whatever it is that takes place, this is exactly the opportune moment for the malevolent forces that are trying to regain control of the timeline to insert their fear events so that they can try to reclaim the timeline. They're always going to try to do this on very specific dates. They're creatures of habit. They become very predictable, but I don't want to make this about them. I want to make this about you and your power because as much as we can see the classic of what they're trying to do, there's something way more important, and that is how does this affect you? How does this affect you if you can see the lights in the sky and go, oh, look at the distraction, however it shows up on our TV screens? The sensitive will become more sensitive. Now, I know there's already those of you who are going, oh my God, does she know what she's saying? I am extremely sensitive, Carrie. I don't want to become more sensitive. Okay, but wait, there's a reason why. There's a reason why your sensitivity is going to be heightened. Number one, it's going to put you in touch with your heart way more. Number two, right now on the planet, you are either extremely sensitive. You could call that extremely empathic, extremely loving, extremely compassionate. You feel things very deeply or you're extremely programmable. Am I saying that people who don't feel things deeply are therefore very programmable? I'm saying they can be. It's easier for them to be easily programmable. Now, the, obviously, there's exceptions, and many of you listening will be among those exceptions. But when you're heart-centered, when you're heart-aligned, you show sensitivity in a multitude of ways. It's not necessarily crying in the corner. That's not what sensitivity means. Sensitivity means I'm attuned to the energetic realm. Emotions happen to be at the energetic realm. So it's a real easy telltale sign of which one of those two categories you're falling into. And then you might say, well, Kerry, why do you make everything so black and white? So either or exactly because we've got two timelines and it is either or it is either the dark malevolent timeline that we're going on which makes a u-turn back into a false matrix or it's to carry on going forward on the existing timeline that is right now commandeered by the light workers but to take that timeline deeper and further and faster and more fervently just to add another f in there than ever before so we've got this amazing opportunity to tune in to the inner light. External light is a distraction. The inner light is the focal point. Here's something 
exquisite. We can look at, oh no, ring of fire, oh eclipse, they're going to try to use that as an event to scare humanity. Okay, that is true, but what it does is it allows for an intervention. Why do I say it that way? It allows for an intervention. If an intervention just arrives, like the galactics just arrive and they go, here humanity, here's a boost, here's, here's a, an awakening boost of energy for you, it's going to shift you out of where you are, that would be an unfair advantage. Right now, the depraved, desperate dark forces are so desperate that even though they know when they act out of accordance with free will, it allows for celestial and cosmic beings to counterbalance their malevolent move with a benevolent move that will therefore benefit humanity, even though they know that's going to happen. In a sense, they're forcing the hand of the light forces, of the benevolent ones who are here to truly serve humanity. They're forcing their hand to support humanity at an even deeper level. So as this takes place, and guys, it's already begun. It has already begun. This is a herald of change. This amazing date in time, it is a herald. This is a marker point. It's a herald of change. And what we're having today is a surge, an influx of energy that comes in from the galactic forces, from the celestial, from the cosmic realm, into the human beings. That's why I said the sensitive ones, you're going to truly feel this and you're going to feel it deeply and you're going to front run with this and it's going to equip you for the path ahead. It's going to equip you to make changes in your world. You may very well feel an influx of energy and if it's nervous energy, you guys, don't run it off. This is, you know, when I say run it off, like we try to distract ourselves very often when we have an influx of energy. It's harder but more potent to just sit with it. Oh, I want you to try this. Just be aware that there is an acceleration, accumulation of energy on the planet today. Sit with it, baby. Breathe it in. Let it circulate. Imagine that it's like this cosmic wave swishing through your energy field, bringing harmony, bringing peace, bringing a beautiful cohesion to you, almost like more wholeness, you know, that feeling of bringing yourself into a harmonic. God, we're so used to being so jagged, so fragmented, so discombobulated, that this sense of wholeness is very, very new, to the point that some people will find it scary. So instead of trying to run it off, distraction, be with it, be present, let it circulate through your field. Let it wash through you. Stay with it. Let it amplify because it's going to. Let it accelerate because it will. Because this is the nature of light. The moment you tune into it, the magic happens. The moment you tune in, you become the amplifier then. Because now it has your focus. Remember, your creative power has never been as potent as it is right now. So use. Use the potency of your creative power, not by looking outside of you and going, oh my gosh, look at all these horrific things taking place on the planet. Instead, oh yeah, look at that. That's a herald of change. But I am the herald of my own change. I'm the beacon of my own change. The clarion call has sounded and called me into a deeper awakening. So the galactic cosmic celestial forces, you could say injecting, boosting our light worker field with an elevated consciousness, bringing us into higher alignment, higher love, higher frequency, higher truth, deeper stability. This is no time to get caught in the external world. This is exactly the time to get centered. Look at that. Caught in the external or centered in the internal. And when you center into the internal, you become the beacon. You become the wave. You become the clarion call. So this is the risk that the dark ones took. The risk that they took was to hell with it. We know that we can't intervene and interfere with the timeline right now. It's against universal rules, but we're going to do it anyway. 
Remember what I've always said, and that is that darkness will be its own undoing. Light does not have to fight darkness. Light will never have to fight anything, but it does have to be light. We've been missing that part of the equation. We've been so busy being scared of darkness, which actually empowers darkness. We've been so scared of the power of the darkness that we've omitted to see the brilliance and the power of light. And it's unmistakable and it must be claimed and then reclaimed and then entrenched and amplified and validated and affirmed. This needs to become our focal point. So join me if you will, just for the next two minutes, just for the next two minutes, receiving the light codes that are filtering into our planet right now. Let me share them with you. They are, are already surrounding you. Isn't that exquisite? They're already there. And with that, it may feel to you almost like a blanket of light. A cushioning of magnificence, of beauty, and of divinity. You know, we forgot to look for this. We forgot to ask for this. We forgot to center into this because we became so busy dodging darkness. We became so busy fighting against the external but we lost sense of the power of our sensitivity, which allows us to feel the power and potency of light. And I know so many of us became so deeply afraid of power that we even pushed away our own. We disowned our power. Because we thought all power must be bad. Therefore, I'll be powerless. Then I'll be good. <sighs> the energy that courses through you right now is sheer love. And it is powerful. You cannot disown the power of love ever again or any more. The power that is the power of love, that is the power of light, that is the power of harmony, is being breathed through you now. Energy circulates. The cosmic boost circulates. Today heralds the beginning of a new shift on the timeline. And here you are breathing it in so beautifully, standing in light so powerfully from my heart all the way into yours so much love <laughs> share this with your friends let them know that we're starting we're starting a brand new era we're starting with a bang and a brand new upgrade Speak to you really soon. Lots of love, everyone. Bye-bye for now.